السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد اویس اینڈ آئی ایم این اسسٹنٹ پروفیسر ان پیریٹکس ڈپارٹمنٹ اختر سعید میڈیکل کالج اور ٹو ڈیز ٹاپک از سسٹک فائبروسس اٹ از دا کامنسٹ لائف لمٹنگ آٹوزومل ریسیسو کنڈیشن ان کوکیشین ود این انسیڈنس آف ون ان ٹوینٹی فائیو ہنڈریڈ لائف برڈس اینڈ کیریئر ریٹ آف ون ان It is well recognized but less common in other ethnic groups. However, definitely you can find a uh, few cases in our country, Pakistan as well. Average life expectancy has increased from few years to the mid-30s with a projected life expectancy for current newborns into the 40s. The statement is regarding the developed countries like western countries uk and other countries so the fundamental problem in cystic fibrosis is a defective protein called the cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator cftr and cftr is a cyclic amp dependent chloride channel found in the membrane of cells The gene for CFTR is located on chromosome 7. Over 1000 different gene mutations have been discovered that cause a number of distinct defects in CFTR but by far the most frequent mutation in the UK is delta F508. So you can imagine varied kind of presentation due to these 100 different kinds of mutations in cystic fibrosis patients. Identification of gene mutation involved within a family allows prenatal diagnosis means the diagnosis before birth and carrier detection in the wider family like in parents. What is the pathophysiology? Cystic fibrosis is a multi-system disorder which results mainly from abnormal ion transfer across epithelial cells. In the airways, this leads to reduction in airway surface liquid layer and consequent impaired ciliary function and retention of mucoporulent secretions. Chronic endobronchial infection with specific organisms such as Pseudomonas sorginosa ensues due to the retention of these secretions. Defective CFTR also causes dysregulation of inflammation and defense against infection and uh, in the intestine thick viscid meconium is produced leading to meconium ileus in 10 to 20 percent of newborn infants likewise in the pancreatic ducts they also become blocked by thick secretions leading to pancreatic enzyme deficiency and malabsorption abnormal function of the sweat glands results in excessive concentrations of sodium and chloride in the sweat what are the clinical features in the uk screening of newborns and is performed uh, as part of the heel break blood spot by chemical screen guthrie test and also in very uh, uh, in other developed countries uh, these kind of screening tests have uh, are being done so the majority of children with cystic fibrosis are identified by screening however children may still present clinically with recurrent chest infections poor growth or malabsorption no such screening test uh, is currently available uh, in our country at the time of birth no facil- facility like this is available at the time of birth in our country so if we categorize the clinical features and different age groups uh, so in newborn uh, it will be usually diagnosed through newborn screening in infancy meconium ileus in the newborn period so the child would pass the the newborn would pass his or her first meconium uh, more than uh, for 24 to 48 hours so uh, the mother's um, uh, would come in the opd and would complain Uh, that the mother uh, the baby has not passed any stool since 20, 48 hours 
or two to three days sometimes. Prolonged neonatal jaundice more than 14 days for example, more than 15 days. So the mothers would come in OPD and would um, complain of persisting jaundice for even for after 14 or 15 days and uh, failure to thrive these children would be uh, not thriving well because of the malabsorption and there would be deficiency of macro and micronutrients. Recurrent chest infections is one of the presentation malabsorption and steatoria, foul bulky greasy stools. Young child presents uh, with bronchiectasis, rectal prolapse, nasal polyp or sinusitis. Older children and adolescent presents like uh, present like allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis ABPA. Diabetes mellitus is one of the presentation cirrhosis and portal hypertension complication distal intestinal obstruction it's meconium ileus equivalent in adolescent hemothorax or recurrent hemoptysis and sterility in males these are the complications in adolescent chronic infection with specific bacteria initially staphylococcus aureus and hemoplus influenzae and subsequently with pseudomonas originosa or Burkholderia species results from viscid mucus in the smaller areas of the lungs. This leads to damage of bronchial wall, bronchiectasis, and abscess formation. So, chest x ray of one of the patients of cystic fibrosis showing uh, haziness in the lung areas bilaterally due to the some ongoing infection. The child has persistent loose cuff productive of prolet sputum. On examination, there would be hyperinflation of the chest due to air trapping, so the chest will be deformed to cause uh, inspiratory crepitations and or expiratory wheezes could be heard in the chest examination. With established disease, there is finger clubbing, ultimately 95% die of respiratory failure. Over 90% of children with cystic fibrosis have pancreatic exocrine uh, insufficiency lipase, amylase and proteases resulting in maldigestion and malabsorption. Untreated, uh, this leads to failure to thrive and passing frequent large pale, very offensive and greasy stools, which is tutoria. Pancreatic insufficiency can be diag diagnosed by demonstrating low elastase in faces. About 10 to 20 percent of cystic fibrosis infants present in the neonatal period with Meconium ileus, in which inspissated uh, meconium causes intestinal obstruction, vomiting, abdominal distension, and failure to pass meconium in the first few days of life. Initial treatment is with gastrographin enemas, but most cases require surgery. How we diagnose? Uh, besides clinical parameters, the essential diagnostic procedure is the sweat test to confirm that the concentration of chloride in sweat is markedly elevated. So chloride would be between 60 to 125 uh, in cystic fibrosis as compared to 10 to 40 uh, millimole per liter in normal children. Sweating is stimulated by pilocarpine ino to process and uh, <clears throat> confirmation of diagnosis can be made with testing of gene abnormalities in the CFTR protein. If a child is homozygote with two identified mutations, then they have cystic fibrosis. So management. The effective management of cystic fibrosis requires a multidisciplinary team approach including pediatricians, physiotherapists, dietitians, specialist nurses, a primary care team, teachers, and most importantly, the child and parents. All patients with cystic fibrosis should be reviewed at least annually in special center. The aims of therapy are to prevent progression of the lung disease and to maintain adequate nutrition and growth. Recurrent and persistent bacterial chest infection is the major problem. So in younger children, respiratory status is monitored on symptoms and in older children, that should be monitored by lung function regularly by spirometry. The FEV1 force expiratory volume in one second expressed as percentage predicted for age, sex, and height is an indicator of 
clinical severity and declines with disease progression. With regular treatment, most infants and children with cystic fibrosis should have no respiratory symptoms and often have no abnormal signs. From diagnosis, children should have physiotherapy at least twice a day, aiming to clear the airways of secretions, so chest physiotherapy is special. Many cystic fibrosis specialists recommend continuous prophylactic oral antibiotics to relieve lutloxacillin with additional rescue oral antibiotics for an increase in respiratory symptoms or decline in lung function. Persisting symptoms or signs require prompt and vigorous intravenous therapy to limit lung damage. Usually, they are administered for 14 days via peripheral venous long line. Chronic pseudomonas infection is associated with the more rapid decline in lung function and this is slowed by the use of daily nebulized anti-pseudomonal antibiotics. Nebulized DNAs or hypertonic saline may be helpful to decrease the viscosity of the sputum and so increase its clearance. The macrolide antibiotic like azithromycin given regularly decreases respiratory exacerbations probably due to an immunomodulatory effect rather than antibiotic action. Regular nebulized hypertonic saline may decrease the number of respiratory exacerbations. So bilateral sequential lung transplantation is the only therapeutic option for end-stage cystic fibrosis lung disease, but fortunately, this is rarely required. Nutritional management, the dietary status should be assessed regularly, pancreatic insufficiency treated with oral and tarry-coated pancreatic replacement therapy taken with all meals and snacks. Dosage is adjusted according to clinic, clinical response. A high Calorie diet is essential and dietary intake is recommended at 150% of normal RDA. To achieve this overnight feeding uh, via a gastrostomy is increasingly used. Most patients require fat soluble vitamin supplements. <coughs> As these things have already been discussed, so in adolescents, in adults and teenagers, the complications like diabetes mellitus and chronic liver disease are common. Other complications are like distal intestinal obstruction, obstruction syndrome and recurrent infection, especially with pseudomonas and Burkholderia aspasia. Females have normal fertility and unless they have severe lung disease tolerate pregnancy well, males are virtually always infertile due to absence of vas deferens, although they can father children through intracytoplasmic sperm injection, high CSI. The psychological counseling for patients and for parents as a family is very much important. Screening. All newborn infants born in the UK are screened for cystic fibrosis. Early identification of cystic fibrosis allows the early introduction of regular treatment. It also enables early genetic counseling for the parents about the one in four risk of recurrence and the possibility of prenatal diagnosis, the diagnosis before birth in future pregnancy. Thank you very much. Thanks.